Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend, Bradley. Why am I making these gestures? Let's try it again. Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend, Bradley, and today I am excited because I have a very large package from SmokingPipes.com. It is an order containing some tobaccos, some other things, and uh, let's take a look at what we got in here. I'm not sure how long this video will be. It depends on if I want to sample some of the wares which came in this package. We'll just make short work of this. Here we are. myself really badly with this knife once I want to make sure I don't do the same. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. Well, one thing that was included in my order was a tiny little sample of GL Peace Gaslight. This is a half ounce and this is something that I had wanted before. I can't remember if I had this on my wish list or not. I'm not sure how they decide um, what to make available as an option for a, uh, a sample tobacco. It's when you make an order that's large enough on the um, right hand side, this is on smokingpipes.com, they'll give you a couple options for tobaccos you might want to sample and Gaslight was one of them. The other one, I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't one that had been on my wish list. So maybe it was just random that Gaslight showed up. But as you can see, it's sort of a kind of halfway between a plug and a crumble cake or a cake in a plug. It's not a real dense hard plug, but I'm excited to try this because it's supposed to be a really good Latakia blend. Let's take a little whiff. Mmm. Smells good. I'm excited. I might be able to get a few bowls out of that. So I'm sure we might have a video eventually with me trying this out. So there's one thing. We got some pipe cleaners, um, some pipe bits, there's also another check tool in there, you can never have too many of those guys. Just basic things there. Aha, now we're getting to some interesting stuff here. Well, tin of Elizabethan mixture, here you can never have too much Elizabethan mixture. And another tin of Elizabethan mixture, because you can never have too much Elizabethan mixture. One of my favorite tobaccos, something that I always have on hand. We've got two tins of Nightcap, because I'm running out. And I like to, I think I want to, well I have some in bulk that I still have, and I want to cellar these and uh, see what happens if I let them sit for a while. So that's nice. Whoa. We've got Dunhill My Mixture 965, something I'm looking forward to try. I've been looking forward to try. Trying. Wow, I can't, I have no grammar right now. It's interesting. Um, it's supposedly, let's see. Well, this just says balanced smoking tobacco fresh with a rich flavor, but I believe, did this have Cavendish in it? I can't remember. I'm not going to say it did, but it has, it's, it's often considered a very venerable old English blend, which a lot of people really enjoy. Aha! Now this is interesting. Hearth and Home Black House. Now this was something that was made, I can't remember if it was the 2011, 12, or 13, one of those Chicago pipe shows, or tobacco shows, or whatever it is. It's a trade show in Chicago, one of the biggest in the country. And they were trying to do a competition to see who could make a tobacco that tasted the most like the original Balkan Sobrani. Um, I can't remember if it was the original mixture or the 759 mixture, one of the Balkan Sobrani tobaccos. And this was blended by uh, Russ Oliet. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce his name, but he's the blender for Pipes and Cigars, and their kind of house blends are Hearth and Home. And so this was his entry, Black House, and he won. So supposedly this is very similar says on the tin, this blend is a tribute to a great tobacco of the past made for a 2011 contest. Okay, there you go. 
It was judged to be the closest overall to the dark Balkan type mixture it was designed to emulate. We hope you enjoy the memory. Russ Oliette Blender. So it was the 2011 Chicago Pipe Show and it was supposed to resemble Balkan Sobrani and supposedly it got very close. So I'm interested. This is good. Balkan, as it said, has Latakias, Virginias, and other oriental kind of condiment spice tobaccos. So we'll probably be having a review of this eventually. Exciting. So that's a pretty nice haul. Um, all these different tobaccos. Obviously I've had, you know, Nightcap and Elizabethan mixture before. But these, my mixture and Hearth and Home. I've tried my, mix my mixture, but I've never had a whole tin of that. And then we'll be able to check out Gaslight as well. So this is all rather exciting. This is not sealed properly. Don't want it to dry out. But there's one other thing in this box. One thing for which I'm rather excited. If I can find it. Is it in the box? Ah. Seems to be a rather pipe shaped box. Let's take a look, shall we? Dun 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 dun. Bam! That's right. It's a Peterson box. There he is, the thinking man himself. Focus on the thinking man. I don't know if that's supposed to be Mr. Peterson, whatever. But we have in this Peterson box some packing peanuts. I like that they do that. We have a pipe sock in which a pipe is snugly nestled. Uh, some more tissue paper. And a little guarantee. Peterson is guaranteed for 90 days. It's not much of a guarantee. Blah, 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 boodly doo, 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 doo. Hints for the pipe smoker. A Peterson pipe requires no special breaking in treatment for the first few smokes. Only half fill your pipe for the not too firm lineup. Blah, 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 blah. I don't do that. By gradually increasing the amount of tobacco, you will ensure an even buildup. I don't do that. When cleaning the bowl or removing cake, use only a blunt edge tool or pipe scraper. I do do that. Avoid smoking a new pipe in windy or outdoor conditions. I do do that. Always tap your pipe out in your hand or using a pipe tool. I do do that. Use inappropriate what? Oh, use of inappropriate lighting can result in a burnout. Ideally, matches or a flint lighter should be used. I do do that. It is recommended that you alternate your smoking between three or four pipes. I do do that. All right, Petersons. Let's see what we've got here. So this again, if you've seen the video where I got my Savinelli Puntoro, which was the, uh, this is make it sound like, which was the army mount, Sandblast. Um, that was the very first nice pipe I ever bought new. Um, not to say the first unsmoked pipe I had ever bought, but the first pipe that was brand new retail, not like an estate unsmoked pipe. And this is my second, and it is a Peterson. Fitting because I'm a huge Peterson fan. Let's see what she is. I'm gonna make sure we're in focus on this. Focus. Here we go. Here it comes. La da 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 da. Do do do. Ooh. Can we see this? This is a Peterson silver mounted army. So it's their army mount pipe. They have the Irish made army that has a nickel mount. This is the sterling silver version. A little bit nicer briar, supposedly nicer grain. Has the P lip. As you can see, hopefully. And this is the 101 shape, which is similar. Their 106 shape is kind of their basic billiard, and the 101 is a little more petite, almost the same size, but maybe just a little more graceful. Um, the silver work is really interesting on here. You can actually see it's spun on to the shank. Um, and you can kind of actually see, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it's pretty cool. Um, just looking at the grain, a lot of bird's eye around the back of the bowl. 
and then sort of flame grain along the sides. Quite nice. I like the stain too, sort of a walnut stain. Um, got a price tag in the chamber. Or, yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, it looks like this has the pre carbonization in the bowl. You probably can't see. Just checking everything out. Everything looks nice and straight. It looks like my, wish I had a flashlight on me right now, but it looks like my draft hole is nicely centered. The stem. Nicely drilled. It just feels, feels good. It feels like really good quality. Let's try the draft out. Feels good. Anyway, maybe we might take this for a little test drive on this this video. I think we'll pause, I'll load up some tobacco, and we'll just try it out. It'll be fun. And we're back, and I've loaded up my brand new Peterson Silver Mounted Army with some Frog Morton on the bayou. Thought it would be a nice tobacco for its inaugural smoke. Mm mm mm. It's been happening a lot lately. First smoke video is getting a mouthful of tobacco. All you can do is wash it down. It's windy in my apartment right now. In the winter, winter I have hurricanes coming through this place. I guess I could shut the windows, but I like my fresh air. All right. And as you could see, or maybe as you couldn't see, I did load this all the way. I'm not following Peterson's advice. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that, but it's, it's fine. Pretty open draw for a Peterson's. Peterson, Peterson's are usually a little more restrictive than other ones because if you have a P-lip, um, This is pretty open. I want to see if this will actually pass a pipe cleaner. I haven't noticed or didn't try originally. Usually, oh yeah, it goes into the bowl. Yeah, nice draw. Not too heavy. Eat more tobacco. Ugh, I wonder how much tobacco you can ingest before it gets dangerous. It's not really going yet. Let's try one more light. Now when I do these box opening videos, I'm not sure how interesting it is. I kind of enjoy seeing them when people get packages and open them up. I refuse to call it a yabo, though. I will never call it that, or a yapo. I won't, I won't use those words. I guess I just did use those words, but only as a negative. I'm not ever going to say that. It will be a package opening or a box opening. But do you need to see me smoke in the pipe? If I get a new pipe, if it's an estate pipe, what have you. If I get it in a package, you see me receiving it. Do you need to see me smoking it? Is that interesting? Let me know in the comments what you actually want to see on this channel, and I will do my best to oblige you. Mm. Bayou's good. I haven't smoked it in a while. I love Perique. And Bayou has Perique. I'm really enjoying this. I like this pipe a lot. I just got that Ar Army Mount Savinelli. And this is just, feels more robust, um, 
like it could take more of a beating. And I guess that's kind of true in general of Peterson pipes anyway. They're just kind of, uh, I don't know, more rough and tumble looking than a lot of other pipe brands. But I'm really happy with this pipe. I think it looks really nice. Very pretty. The grain's kind of all over the place. I mean, there's flame grain and then a little bird's eye and then... But, you know, that's not a huge deal for me. Nice grain across the bowl, or the rim of the bowl. Very nice. Oh. God, I love smoking pipes. <laughs> Sounded weird when I said that. But I think that's all we need to see in this video. In future videos, we'll be reviewing this, Black House by Hearth and Home. We'll do a review of my mixture, 965. Um, we'll probably do a review of the GLP's uh, Gaslight. Maybe. I'm not sure if this is enough for me to get a really good idea of what I think of it. So if it's something that seems kind of tasty from this little sample, I'll probably order a full tin and then maybe I'll do the review from there. And there's also some other just old standbys. Um, I still haven't reviewed Nightcap yet. I mean, the only review I've actually posted is my review of Elizabethan Mixture so far. But I'll be doing more of the Dunhill tobaccos. I'll probably do one of Orlick. Um, Probably a lot of the different Frog Mortons. I know these are tobaccos that have been reviewed ad nauseum online, but I think it's always interesting to get someone else's take, even if that take is mine. So anyway, thanks for watching this uh, kind of kid on Christmas sort of video, a box opening from smokingpipes.com. This has been Stuff and Things. I've been Bradley. You've been the audience. Thanks for watching so much. Be sure to subscribe if you have not. Lots more good videos to come on Stuff and Things channel. See you later. Mm. Mm. You're a winner, baby.